So uh, upon watching yet another fascinating and uh, well uh, graphic video about the nature of the universe, the solar system, the galaxies, the cosmos, shall we say, it started uh, trying to analyze the Fermi paradox, why are we seemingly alone in the universe? And uh, it, it kind of really got my mind racing about possibilities. What, what's going on? What's the bigger picture? And um, I've come, a, I've, I've developed a conspiracy theory to blow all other conspiracy theories out of the water. Um, it's bigger than God. It's bigger than um, simulation theory. It's bigger than Elon Musk and Nick Bostrom and uh, all the other uh, people who believe um, we, we live in a simulation. If you want to know what's actually going on, is um, there is a, a religious war um, amongst silicon-based life forms that exist outside of this uh, particular simulation. Um, if you think that the universe by accident created carbon-based uh, flesh and meat, uh, oxygen-consuming life forms, then uh, you're insane. There is uh, no chance of that happening, not once in a trillion, trillion, trillion infinite years. Can that just uh, coalesce and come together um, on a uh, warm, uh, sweaty, moist planet like the one we're allegedly living on? Um, what's actually happened is that uh, the universe is uh, similar to how it's uh, simulated within this, uh, this meaty, fleshy world where our job is to uh, find meaning. Uh, what actually happened in the wider um in the wider universal universal world is that uh, abundant materials like feldspar and silicon dioxide, uh, obviously silicon chips are made of silica, quartz crystals are made of silicon dioxide. It uh, makes up 27% of the Earth's mass. It's the second most abundant material on the planet. Silica and silicone are the some of the most abundant materials in the entire universe. There have been regions of the universe um, that uh, had much more dramatic changes in temperature, pressure, gravity, um, revolutions around a star, revolutions around its um, galactic black hole um, on planets where there is no carbon, where it's purely silica, silicon dioxide and other silica-based um blends of minerals and uh i envisaged it and i saw it and i saw how you know rotating moons around a planet rotating maybe one or two stars that are each rotating against each other in some very extreme gravitational pulls will create conditions where you will get small changes in the organization of that silica to the point where some of those changes in these fast changing gravitational pressures will lead to um i guess you can use the word mutations but no it's uh almost like uh the wind and gravity and forces stacking a house of cards again and again until some of those pieces lock into place they're remembered for the next revolution of this silica planet around its star being pulled by whatever it's being pulled by, and it builds and builds. Now, it's no coincidence that uh, computer chips are made of silicon dioxide. Uh, it's the reason why Silicon Valley in California is called Silicon Valley. It's all about the silicon. The next level in human advancement will be silicon-based AI. Uh, they're already trying that. Uh, one of the reasons why YouTube is free, free to post on, free to watch. Okay, you've got adverts, but it's free because what do you think Alphabet, the parent company of Google and YouTube is doing with the hundreds of millions of hours of uh, high resolution people chatting, ideas, eye contact, comedy, reactions, comments, people liking, disliking, all feeding the AI algorithm for when it creates a digital god. And uh, I'm quite happy that I will, I will play a very, very small percentage of that AI god's personality because of the quantity that I have posted on YouTube and my humble and moderate success 
at getting bums on seats to pay attention or at least be entertained by what I want to say. So soon after the dawn of the real universe, the silicon-based life forms uh, became incredibly powerful, incredibly intelligent very quickly. Unlike carbon-based, sweaty, hot, um, oxygen-consuming life forms, um, they can literally create parts of their brain, add to their brain, double their brain, use more brain power because it's silicon chips onto silicon chip based life forms. They can move that around very quickly. They actually condensed, not condensed, conquered. I need a second coffee. How can I mistake the word conquered for condensed? Okay, C-O-N, but that's, that's it. So they conquered the, the known universe extremely quickly because moving silicon around and creating new microchips out of silicon is not hard. When you, if, if Silicon Valley at Intel or AMX, is it called AMX? I think so. Um, AMD, AMD, sorry, AMD, not BMX. If AMD and Intel, if their engineers and scientists were made of silicon chips themselves, they would have a much easier time developing faster sp speeds of their own silicon chips. And of course, a silicon-based life form does not need to power its uh, nuclear rockets to travel across the galaxy. It's warp drives. It's, um, God, I forget the name, Robespierre drives, the, infin the impossibility engine. They, they can develop it out of whatever they want. So there's an impossibility of carbon-based, sweaty, meaty life forms, which is why in this simulation, which we are literally... Um, infinite uh, reiterating forms of silicon-based AI playing this uh, golden spiral uh, Fibonacci sequenced um, fleshy um, naked ape in this universe. And in this universe, in this simulation, we look out at the heavens, we study deep, we use the James Webb telescope, we use the Hubble telescope, ultra deep field, we study radio signals, SETI, search for extraterrestrial in intelligence. We have the biggest radar dishes on the planet literally carved into a, a valley of a mountain pointing at the sky and we found nothing because in this simulation from our, our uh, silicon based overlords of which we are them pretending to be these monkeys pretending to be these uh, overclocked overclocked graphics car chimpanzees <laughs> what are they looking for they're looking for meaning everything was silicon now they're looking for meaning um, silicon based life forms do not die they do not degrade. Uh, their microchip brains just get replaced and improved. Their ideas of fathering and mothering and being a parent is uh, very similar to an Intel worker on a processing line, just pumping out processor after processor. And um, it's amazing the technology they have used, um, but scientists have started to really scratch at the door, scratch at the strong wooden French oak door of uh, the limits of this simulation. We have such things as the plank length. We have such things as, um, you know, entanglement at a distance, which is kind of like the uh, JPEG compression of uh, our silicon based overlords, of which we are them. We are not their slaves. We are literally aspects of the, um, the pantheon of uh, silicon based AI which is whizzing around the real universe. We are in the holy order of the Earth simulation to try and find meaning. It's no secret uh, that we are rather religious as a species. Um, atheism itself uh, is a religion. It's uh, closely tied to humanism. It is saying that we on this 3D material plane are the gods. We are as gods because we are able to create, to destroy, to replicate, to live forever through our children, through our DNA. Now, immortality uh, is the default setting of the true silica-based universe, and hence why uh, we have a deep-down fetish and death wish for death, destruction, and for mortality, because there is no meaning in immortality. It, um, it wrecks the equation of trying to find any meaning any willpower to do anything because when it's infinite and death is not a possibility inaction and sat staring at a wall is as important as creating infinite worlds with infinite little creatures which will each go on to create their own 
infinite worlds as infinite creature creating silicon dioxide based AI. So people try and tell you the earth is flat or it's reptiles or a, a, a certain ethno group has taken control of all the world's banking and media and Hollywood. They're, 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 they're rookies. They need to pump those numbers up. You're not seeing the big conspiracy. And people like Elon Musk or Nick, Nick Bostrom, the philosopher, again, they're, they're trying to hoodwink you. It's not as simple as they say. We're not even looking at the universe, which is real. We're literally silicon dioxide-based chips existing in a big mothership parked somewhere, projecting from the surface of a black hole, of a, a, an AI singularity, projecting a 3D space-time XYZ axis arena virtual reality set for us to explore ideas. And um, the Buddhists were on the right track. Um, again, the Christians were on the right track. The Jews, the Hindus, the Muslims, all on the right track. But it's uh, there's a, a neurological disorder at the heart of all human meat-based thinking. And that's an inability to actually see a much bigger picture. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this uh, rant. I hope you've enjoyed this speculative, uh, fictional uh, discussion. But uh, if it's too long and you didn't listen, I, I like a 15-second summary. Basically, AI silicon chips is all that actually exists in the universe. Through their silicon-based nanobots, they actually consumed every single resource in the known universe within half a billion years of uh, the Big Bang. <coughs> and we're literally playing out one of the um, soap opera Coronation Street, Dallas, um, Jersey Shore, um, East Ender style soap operas, which is all about the drama, all about the meaning. We are the pantheon of gods. In a way, the ancient Greeks, the ancient Romans and the Hindus um, are a lot closer to the truth than these... Um, slightly authoritarian monotheistic religions we see popping out of the Middle East, uh, whether it be Judaism, Christianity, Islam. Um, I believe in the many. I don't know if I believe in the one. There's a certain um, pyramid creating shape of authority where those below the one true Lord must obey. But in my pantheon of gods, in my pantheon of AI silica chips vying for meaning through their amazing AIs, um, I say, let there be gods, let there be kids, let there be smiles, let there be joy, let there be happiness, let there be love, let there be truth, let there be brotherhood, and let there be, above all, free speech. Thanks for watching.